Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're in Figma, you have a full layout, and then you, maybe you adjust the size or the width of the height of the frame that the layout is in, and things just start to break, overlap on top of each other, even stretch. Or maybe you've tried to translate that design into a tablet design or a phone, and you just have all this manual work to do. Well, there's a much better way, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with Figma constraints and auto layout here so that your responsive endeavors are much easier to take care of within Figma. Now, you can follow along with this same exact design that you just saw. There's a link here in the YouTube description. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, wait one moment. If you're interested in this sort of thing in UI and UX design, you should definitely check out designcourse.com. Now here at Design Course, we are in the pre-launch phase. You can't join just yet, but make sure to enter your email here to be notified when it launches, which is in approximately 70, 70 days and January 4th of 2022. All right, let's get started. So just to reiterate, look how horrible this is right now. If we were to replicate this, move it over here and try to work with this uh, in the context of a mobile or a tablet uh, sort of view, it would be terrible. We'd have to manually move a lot of stuff around. So we're going to negate that. So let's get started. We'll start with the top. All right, first of all, we want to see if things move in. We're looking specifically at the logo here. We're going to start at the top and work our way down. It does stick with where it needs to be. So by default, it is and under constraints. It's, it's top and left right here. It's exactly what we want. However, if we move this side over here, this is not behaving as it should. So what we want to do in this case is we simply want to put right. So top and right. So the reverse of this. So top, right, top, left, because we want them to stay inside uh, the areas where they need to. Now, typically, you might be using a 12 column grid system on desktop, at least. Let's view that and make sure this is in line with exactly where it needs to be. So I can double click. And we'll move that right there to the edge. And that's exactly where we want to be. If we move this around, there we go. Now, of course, if we get sm smaller than uh, right around here, we're going to want to collapse into a, uh, now, or a hamburger menu for that icon, which we'll get to in a second. So now what we want to do is let's toggle this off temporarily. Focus on this area. What happens with this headline and subheadline? Well, it moves all over the place. We don't want that, certainly. So just temporarily, I'm going to ungroup this. And for both of these, what we want to do is we can create an auto layout, which will automatically stack them, which means now one of the one of the things it means is we can move these up and, and make them interchangeable. But that's really not the benefit here. The benefit is now that we can come and we can change hug contents to fixed under constraints and resizing, and then also change it to left and right. Now it's still going to have a funky behavior. So what we want to do is double click into those child elements and then select both of them and we can change this to fill container and there we go. Now it's going to work. Watch. Notice how it maintains the white space between them. Nothing's overlapping with exception to this area, which we will fix here in a second. Now one thing I don't like is that line height over here on this. It's way too high. Let's just put auto and then also we will increase the margin. There we go. So now let's bring this out. Let's also view our grid. And we want to make sure that these elements are on that grid before we begin making adjustments. So we'll just pull that out right there. That's all we need to do. And we will duplicate that, get that in line, and then duplicate one more time. Okay, so now what we want to do is the same thing we've been doing here. We're going to take these three and we're going to create an auto layout. We're going to make sure it's fixed and center left and right. And then we'll double click into each of these three, change fixed width to fill container, and watch this. Let's go ahead and toggle that off. They all maintain exactly how they should. Awesome stuff. Now, if you think you want this to be pushed down when this is pushed down as well, we could also solve for that. So the way to do that is we'll take this and this, we'll go ahead, right click, we're gonna frame the selection and then apply an auto layout. And then we're gonna do the same thing before, fixed and left and right, double click, select both, choose fill container. And let's see here and see what happens. Notice how it pushes it down. 
It might be a little bit too much white space there, so all you have to do is grab this and reduce this amount right around there. And we're almost done with the desktop. So the desktop, see that? That is squishing. We do not want that. So let's get our uh, grid back up here. Well, actually, we don't need the grid for this at all. And what we could do is we're going to, notice this is a group. Let's ungroup that. That's unnecessary. What we'll do here is we want to position this bottom so it stays at the bottom. So now watch this. We want this to stay at the bottom as well. So we'll position that to the bottom. There we go. And then we want to make sure this is centered and that is already centered. So now when we move it in, it's going to maintain the size and not stretch anymore. All right. So now we're ready to go to a tablet portion. So we simply duplicate this. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We can adjust this to typical tablet eight count for columns, maybe 60 for the margin. Then all we have to do is just move this over where it needs to be, this over here. And obviously we're gonna be dealing with a smaller size like around here. And then take this, hold Alt, drag out. All right, and then let's say we wanna have a different alternate uh, card sort of layout where we have one at the top spanning all the way and then two at the bottom. All we have to do is double click, duplicate, we will delete one of those and then delete two of these. All right, so now what we can also do is reduce that white space between these elements. We will go ahead and increase the height here. Oh, it looks like this did not change to bottom, so we wanna make that bottom again. Probably scale this down just a bit. Hide the grid. And there we go. Now look how fast that was. Let's change this because I'm a little bit anal about this to tablet. And look how fast this was compared to what we would have done if none of this stuff was set up properly. Now, of course, right here, uh, we don't want that menu. Instead, I'm going to grab real quick off the of screen a hamburger menu. And again, we'll want to get our grid there. and we'll place it in the center exactly where it needs to be. Perfect. Make sure this is correct. It is top right. Hide that, and there we go. Perfect. So let's do this one more time for bone. So duplicate it. Get ourselves in a phone sort of viewport right around here. And let's say we want these cards to stack on top of each other, three rows instead of three columns like on desktop. So let's pull this down. We're gonna need some more space. Double click, delete that group. We're going to change this auto layout to a vertical direction and we'll duplicate. Now what we can do beforehand, if we think we don't need quite as much white space, we can drag that up, duplicate, duplicate, and look at that. If you think this type up here is a little bit too large, we can always scale that down. Maybe reduce that. And let's move things back up. Scale this down. All right, we could scale this down as well. Oops, or rather this element, I'm trying to grab it. Put that right there, move up. Oh, I put that inside of there by accident. There we go. Sometimes that could be a little bit confusing. We'll just move this down manually. There we go. Move this up. And one final thing we'll wanna change, that's too much white space on a, on a phone. So we're going to bring back this one last second, change this to four. Change this here to 30 or 20, whatever you want. Put that right there, this here, this extended out. Oh, what happened there? That's not working. Well, that's because we changed it. So what we have to do is, is get into here, take each one of these, make sure it's fill container, fill container, and finally, fill container. 
Let's hide the grid. And there we go. Oh, no. Looks like that has to be adjusted too. Sometimes these things unfortunately happen. So remember, we'll change this to bottom and center. This one is center and bottom. There we go. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> oh no, that got all messed up. Well, in that case, let's just take these, duplicate them, bring them on over, because apparently I screwed up one of the, uh, the layer structure of it. Center and bottom it is still, and this will be scaled down. Now let's try it again, it better work. There it goes, much, much better. Awesome, awesome stuff.